This is Pythagoras video 6, the last of our videos in this series. This one looks at using Pythagoras to solve problems. When we're using Pythagoras to solve problems, Pythagoras results can be used to help solve perimeter and area problems particularly. Let's have a bit of a look at an example. Here we're asked to find the perimeter of this triangle. Now it's a bit hard because we've only got two sides out of the three that we know about. But we can use Pythagoras to find that missing side on the right angle triangle and then go ahead and find the perimeter after that. So step one is to find the missing side there. Now you can see that that's a shorter side. We're just going to call it x for the sake of uh, having a letter to work with. So x squared equals 14 squared minus 9 squared. Remember from a previous video when we're finding a shorter side we'll have a minus in our Pythagoras result there. 14 squared is 196, subtracting 81, which is a final result of 115. Now we've got that for x squared. We need to square root to get x on its own there. That'll give us 10.7 on our calculator. So we've used Pythagoras with a subtraction in between to find a shorter side to find the value of x. Now once we've got the value of x, I think you'll agree, we have all the three sides and we can add them up to find the perimeter. Step 2, find the perimeter, we'll add our 9 and our 14 and our 10.7 that we found using the Pythagoras uh, result and that makes 33.7 meters and the, and the question asked us to leave that in one decimal place so we've rounded it off to one decimal place. Okay, step 1 was to use Pythagoras and then to, uh, to uh, solve the final problem after that. Here's another perimeter question. We need to find the perimeter of this shape. Now once again we've got uh, three of the four sides we need but I think you can guess we're going to find the missing side using Pythagoras. This time we'll use y as a letter that we're going to work with and this time it's a hypotenuse. So I think you'll find we're going to be having a plus in between our squares here. Okay so y squared equals now, uh, it doesn't look like this triangle's got any other sides we can use, but if we look carefully, we can find some. That 40 from the left-hand side of that rectangle um, can be used as the height of our triangle. So we'll have uh, y squared equals 40 squared. Now, we need this other side down the bottom of our triangle, the base of our triangle, in order to use uh, Pythagoras. We need two out of the three numbers, really. Now we'll get that by comparing the 60 that goes all the way along the base here right to the end. Comparing that with our 50 on top there, I think you can see that we'll have a missing 10 uh, that can make up the base of our triangle. So that's 10 down there. So we'll use it for our second part uh, there, our second number in our Pythagoras. So let's process that. 40 squared is 1600, 10 squared is 100, so we actually get on our calculator if we typed it in 1700 there. We have to square root it to get y on its own. So that ends up being 41.2 if we round it off to one decimal place. Now if we know y and we know all the other numbers to find the perimeter, it's, that's just a matter of adding, all, adding up all our results there. So we've got 40 for the left hand side, 60 for the base all the way along. We won't double count that 10. We'll have to be careful there. We'll add 50 from the top and we'll add our Pythagoras result for the length of y on the right hand side. So I've got all the um, edges of the shape there to make up our perimeter. Final answer 191.2 meters. This time we'll uh, have Pythagoras helping us to find the area of this rectangle down here. Now we've got the length of the rectangle, 24 meters, and we've got the diagonal length, 26 meters. But area of a rectangle is length times breadth, so we really need that uh, h for height there. Um, so we'll find that first. Now it is a rectangle, so they're right angle triangles. It's made up of two right angle triangles there, if you kind of take notice of that diagonal. So we can find the missing side by saying h squared equals 26 squared minus 24 squared. Now, uh, once again, do you remember why we used a minus there? Well, yeah, of course, it's because we're finding one of the shorter sides. Uh, so that needs the, the minus to be in between the two squared numbers there. 
So we'll process that. H squared is 676 minus 576. And so we get h squared equals 100. If we square root that, square root of 100 is 10. So that h is 10. That, that uh, rectangle is 10 meters high. So for area now, we'll just do uh, length times breadth, 24, which is our length, times our height there of uh, 10. We get 240, and our units there will be meters squared. So uh, once we uh, used Pythagoras, we had enough uh, information to go ahead and solve our area problem there. So uh, Pythagoras can be pretty handy, whether we're finding a hypotenuse or a shorter side, because uh, those sides can be pretty vital in uh, allowing us to solve a perimeter problem in the end or an area problem in the end. So our steps here, use Pythagoras theorem to find any missing sides. And, uh, and then we can use them to calculate perimeter or area. Okay, I hope this uh, Pythagoras series of videos has helped and uh, watch them as many times as you like. And, uh, and we'll catch you next time we explore a different topic. Thanks, bye.